Hello! Hello! So uh, I am Jennifer Jolly, and people always ask me whether or not that's a stage name. Tragically, that is my real name. Uh, it's not even the most ridiculous name in my family. My mom's name is Dolly, and my parents are from India, so they had an arranged marriage, and now her name is Dolly Jolly. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that should be legit grounds to get out of an arranged marriage. If you have to sound like a cartoon character for the rest of your life, Dolly Jolly sounds like she should be best friends with Dora the Explorer. But she's not. She works in the ER. And I always wonder like how her patients must feel when they're like dying and bleeding from the head and the nurse who's like, don't worry sir, Dolly Jolly's on the case. You're gonna live. Yeah, Paige and Dr. Jolly. I feel like that's a porn premise. I'm pretty sure I've seen that in porn. I'm just saying. It's true. I was, um, I was having dinner with a British friend of mine the other day, and he was asking me why Americans aren't into soccer like the rest of the world. I'll tell you why. Because America hates things that are universally loved. We do. Like soccer, or the metric system, or reasonable portions of food. How, how can we hate the metric system? We're the only country in the world that's like, fuck you, multiples of 10. Fuck you. Do, do you know how easy it is to multiply things by 10? Seriously, it's math so easy, even white people can do it. Hi, white people. Hi, white people. Hey, you wouldn't have had to cheat off my paper in school if we had the metric system, is the point I'm trying to make. Cheating off the Indian kid. We've all done it. I've done it, and I'm Indian. How sad is that? It's a sad commentary on education, you guys. That's who I, oh, that's who I feel sorry for. Do we have any teachers in the audience today? A couple teachers? Oh my god. If I were a teacher, I would be drunk all the time. You guys have such, a, she's drinking. You guys have such a hard job. You know, because kids today, we have an entire generation of people whose only life goal is to go viral and to catch Pikachu, you know, and they need to be entertained 20, they're glued to their phones, they need to be entertained all the time, and that makes it really hard for teachers. You know, my friend's daughter came home from school and she was like whining about her math teacher, you know, he's so mean, you don't even know, he's so mean. And I'm like, is he mean or do you just hate math? You know, like, is that what's going on? And she's like, no. He's mean. If you get a bad grade, he staples a McDonald's job application to your test. Okay, that teacher is not mean. He's hilarious. He's doing God's work. Putting the fear of minimum wage into your child. We need more of that today. We need more of that. <laughs> because life doesn't work out the way that you think it's going to. You know, life doesn't just hand you winning lotto tickets. That's not the way it goes. You know, you, you think you're going to be married by the time you're 26 and have kids by the time you're 28 living in a sweet house someplace great, right? And then you're like, uh, okay, maybe not the house and the kids by then. Um, but um, a husband will be good, right? That's what people do. They get married. And then you're like, you know what? I'm an independent woman. I don't need a ring to be happy, um, but a boyfriend would be fun. How about that? How about just a boyfriend? And now it's like, I just don't want to get herpes. I just, hey, if I can make it through this life without getting herpes, then I fucking win, dude. That's where, I, that's where I'm at. For those of you not laughing at that, I, I'm really sorry about your herpes. I'm really, you know. And you're right, and the CDC agrees with you. STDs are no laughing matter. <laughs> oh, there's so many crazy things going on. Um, there's a, LA's a really strange kind of town. There's a lot of cool things about it, but there's some things I will never get used to, and specifically about working in the entertainment business. Uh, people just offer you cocaine here like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. They don't even have the decency to pull you into the bathroom. It's just out in the open. Like they're offering you a mint. It's like Sunday. The Lord's Day. Like what is with everybody? Okay, some of you are looking at me like that's not my experience at all. Well, I guess rich white guys aren't trying to fuck you, sir. Real. Am I the only person that has to be at work in the 
morning. And if you don't, how the hell can you afford all this cocaine? That shit is expensive. I want a job where I can wake up at the crack of noon and make it rain eight balls. I call it making it hail. That's trademarked. That's trademark. Nobody steal that idea. It's too good. I'm surprised any of you are here because the other thing that's super good always is television lately. I don't know if you've noticed that, but TV is so good. Um, anybody see that show, uh, Making a Murder? Yeah. Anybody watch that show? Yeah, some people. For those of you who haven't seen it, Making a Murderer is a show about how the justice system can be rigged against white people, too. So, yay, equality! <laughs> it turns out the cops hate all of us. That's progress. That's progress. It's a fucked up show, you guys. Actually, that, that's, that show is a real-life American horror story because it can happen to you. And that makes it scarier than The Walking Dead. Anybody watch that show? Any Walking Dead fans? Yeah, I love that show. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen Walking Dead, that is a show about how it's easier to find love during a zombie apocalypse than it is in Los Angeles. Yeah! And then, you know, the show, they're meeting, it's not like, I'm alive, you're alive, let's bone. No, 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 they're meeting their soulmates and shit on that show. Fuck you, Walking Dead, making me feel bad about myself. There's like nine people left on the planet. They've all found the one. The math doesn't even work out right there. You know, Indians need the math to work out right. <laughs> Zombies, totally believable. Inconsistent math, not buying it. Not buying it. There's a lot of dudes in the audience, from what I can see. Uh, this is specifically for you. Uh, we get it. Rejection hurts. It hurts everybody. But if a girl politely declines, be a man and take it with some class. Yes! yes. Don't, don't get all aggro and start insulting us because it does not hurt our feelings, just so you know. In fact, the opposite thing happens. We turn into Big Sean and we're just like, I just dodged a bullet from a crazy bitch. You know? Thank you for letting me know who you really are before I made the mistake of sleeping with you. <laughs> you done fucked up, son. <laughs> one, time, one time this dude was really pissed at me when I wasn't interested, and he was like, well, you know what, bitch? Fuck you, you look like the maid. I was like, the maid? I'm pretty sure I look like your cardiologist. <laughs> please, please, come on. I'm med school brown, not service industry brown. What the fuck are you talking about, homie? Ooh. That racist? But, thank you. But, have you ever seen an Indian maid? Nope. Nope. None of you have seen that shit. I know more Indian people than you do, okay? Than everyone in this room. And the only time I've even met an Indian maid was when I was on vacation in India. So, get your racism right, dumbass. They're, um, yeah, that's owning. She said they own the motel. Yeah, they own it. They don't work there. They own it. Yeah, no, they own it. Um, where are we going with this? Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of racist shit in the news these days uh, because everyone has camera phones, you know, like that's why it's out there. And the problem has gotten so bad that other countries are calling America out on our racism. But in defense of America, we are not the only country that does that shit, okay? Yeah, India hates Pakistan. Israel hates Palestine. Germans are so racist, they killed millions of white people for not being white enough. <laughs> that is some serious hate. Those crazy cat crowds, like their hate is the only thing more, like if, you know, their genocide is the only thing more efficient than their hate. It's really, really awful. <laughs> Thank you. She approves. <laughs> Uh, this has been a rough year, you guys. 2016 has been a rough year. This is the year that cool died. You know, a lot of cool people died this year, and it's really sad. Uh, David Bowie died. Prince passed away. And even worse, Dick Cheney is still alive. <laughs> Cheney, Cheney's still chilling in his hidden evil.
little secret lair, jerking off to ISIS videos. That's true. That's true. Dick Cheney can't come unless someone gets beheaded. That is a fact. That is a fact. You don't know that, but that's a fact. Dick Cheney thinks the Saw movies are romantic comedies. That's the point I'm trying to make. He's not right in the head. But you guys have been lovely. I'm Jen Jolly. Thank you for coming out tonight.